Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so uh, Latoya Luckett is coming in. She is um, she's doing an acting workshop with her acting coach Troy Rowland, who's like a uh, celebrity acting coach to the stars. I think he's located in L.A. where she is. But yeah, she used to be down with Destiny's Child and Beyonce and Kelly Rowland. So she has her. She's paved her own path, really. for the 90s to now it's check and see in with the yo check and show and latoya luckett is here what's up <laughs> in town from la yeah how's the la life treating you well right now with the bet awards and stuff going on it's, it's crazy. crazy right yeah no but that's I've, normal it is it is okay. um i think every the city's pretty much used to it everybody pretty much <laughs> right. lives there and um but it's it's cool i keep in my little corner yeah Do my how long thing. have you been in la now though oh man I feel like it's like six or seven years. Okay. Oh yeah, so that's it. You're ready. Yeah. You yeah. I'm adjusted. Like I literally spend <laughs> all my time if I'm not like working and auditioning and doing voiceover and stuff like that. Right. I'm at the beach. Like by myself. Driving up to Malibu and doing the whole Love thing. Love it. Or if I'm really feeling frisky, I'll <laughs> drive to Vegas. What? Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah, Vegas is what, like four hours? Maybe, yeah. I've literally that... been in the parking lot of Popeyes in my like daytime clothes. Flip flops, I'm talking about sweatpants, whatever, and been like, I wanna go to Vegas. For like, <laughs> I love it. Didn't go home check. I literally went there with no clothes, no bags, no nothing. Yes. Hell yeah. Drove out there. That's good. Stay for the night. Love it. That's good. Yeah. That's cool. So you live in the land. I Do mean, you take your boyfriend with you when you decide to Hilarious! <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh my God, man! Hey, you know, it's you know, it's always fun to do stuff with fun people and, yeah. and great people. So good I'm people with you. She's not gonna answer me, but it's okay. <laughs> At least a little bit. But um, so okay, so you're in town, ATL for the workshop yes. with Troy Roland. With Troy Roland, who is a big time celebrity uh, actor. He's a lifesaver. Yes, to my to me, he's a lifesaver. Yeah. Especially when you know me and him met on my first movie that I ever got cast for, which was Pe Preacher's Kid, that filmed right here in Atlanta. Right. And um, I, he was the coach that they just so happened to bring on, and the way he broke that script down for me. Um, the way he kind of simplified the process, and it's not a simple process at all. I know people yeah. see people on TV and like, oh, I can do that. No, you can't, because these are not your words. These are someone else's words. This yeah, is you becoming you the character. Like envision yes, and get into that. You just have to step into that moment, and you kind of got to step into it like sixteen different times from sixteen different <laughs> angles right. with lighting and this and whatever, That's and making sure. Easy. Yeah. So. Because it's different when you practice it at oh home in your God. bed, chilling. Yeah, and then no. when you go in, you're like, oh my god. And your know. vision for the character might be different than the producer's vision from the yeah. character, who might be different from the product, the, the director's vision of the character. Right, um, right, right. So right. it's so many things that go into it, uh, and I just feel like if you're serious about it, if you want to do this, getting with an acting coach, an acting coach uh, is the best thing that one I okay. ever did. He's yeah. been with me ever since, and that was, I don't know how many years ago. Right. Um, so did you do it immediately, like when you were going for your first role? Oh, did, when I went for my like, first okay, role, I, I had nothing. Do. I didn't know oh. what the script was. I didn't know how to break down an audition. I didn't okay. know how to do any of that. And I just so happened to land the role, one of the other roles in the movie. Um, and then four days before like production, they asked me, was I interested in playing the lead role, which was Angie. Yeah. And so I was like, um. That might be much. <laughs> it might, but you know what, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. And yeah. so I flew to here to Atlanta and he met me at the door. Wow. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. So he's not in LA. He's in Atlanta. No, he's in LA. He's in Atlanta now okay, for the workshop. Okay. But he, okay. he, he, they flew him out for it. And that was the best thing they ever So done. did he help you get the single ladies gig too? Um, yes, we auditioned. We practiced for that. He helped me uh, prepare for that audition. He's helped me prepare, Felicia prepare Price. for every audition, honey. She's the best That's good. Um, which we now, also Felicia here. Price reminds me of the character uh, Cookie in Empire. You, a little yeah, bit. They could be friends. They could do lunch. They could do lunch. Oh, yeah, they could definitely who, who, do lunch. Who do you lunch. think is, like, mean? More mean. I feel I like Cookie or is... they're not a more mean. I person. think that, you know, Felicia has more subtle gestures. Uh, Cookie is violent. Right. Um, <laughs> right. I think that Felicia's words are violent. They could yeah. be very volatile. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think she is the action. She's more the verb. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the Cookie. she's the verb, and I'm the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're more yeah. like subtle, yeah. like passive aggressive ish. Yeah, maybe. but kind of not. I'm just a, not a nice person. Uh, I will cut you with my words. Does it give you a different perspective now though? Because you've been in like the business for so long. Oh yeah. But as an artist, you haven't been the record rep. Or, no. You know what I mean? So, I'm on like, the other side of the desk you now. A different perspective. Yes, I'm totally on the other side of Are the desk now. Are you now like, oh my god, I respect them more? Yeah, because there's just as much pressure. I mean. There's a lot of pressure with being an artist. There's a lot of pressure with, you know, coming with the right song. And, right. you know, everything is really dependent on that. And um, it could be a lot. It can be a lot. But it's also, as a record exec, you have to deliver to keep your business open. And you right. have all these people working for you. But it's a whole lot to actually see the vision through from the other side you know what i'm saying and keep everybody in control and make sure everyone's on their job so you're kind of like the puppeteer kind of making everything work and she had to be a hard the director yeah she's the director of this whole thing i mean she's made me more confident um really? in myself oh yeah yeah That's especially cool. during the filming process um of that i kind of stay and i'm not mean at all but the way she lifts her head up and she, keeps her shoulder back whatever mm -hmm. she's going through whether it be personal life or whatever she right. has to get the job done regardless yeah and um i feel that she just changed me in so many ways okay so i got the workshop information so the workshop is today like i said in the next 30 minutes but don't feel it's too late because there's still a sunday class as well so today oh is from 10 to 3 Tomorrow, it's from, uh, which is Sunday, from 12 to 5, and it's at Coco Studios 767, Trey Burt, and I'm going to spell that for you, T-R-A-B-E-R-T, Ave, Northwest, um, and if you want more information, you can always go to TroyRoland.com. Guys, if you're serious about this, this is something that you want to do. This yeah. is not something you can just hop into. You need the right. proper training, and he's going to touch, he's going to touch you, I'm touch, he's not going to touch you, actually. <laughs> he's going to be able to, he's going to teach you, um, um, you know set etiquette breaking right. down an audition because you can think you have it in the car or in the mirror at home and, and you get in front of those people and your lines start literally leaking out of the side of your ear like wait oh what my happened God. oh yeah I'm the worst with lines I you can get anything. nervous and you can just trick it off yeah. so as long you can if, as long as you're properly prepared which yeah. is what this workshop is going to do for you yeah um it's easier when you walk in the room you're more confident because you know it you know Study, 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 study. There's an album coming out soon? There is an album coming. Uh, okay. Until then, I've been saying it for the past, I don't know how many years. And it's so funny because I was sitting down uh, with my girlfriend, Carrie Hilson, and Monica, who was also one of my girlfriends. And when you haven't had an album out for so long, first of all, your friends are a heck of irritated. Oh, you're hanging and they're the like, girl. Yeah, that's my girls. Uh -huh. And uh, shout out to Carrie, shout out to Monica. <laughs> Um, I can see you hanging with them. Yes, yeah. those are my honeys. Um, but it's so funny because you do so many interviews or you do so many performances and or you could just shoot. Now with social media, every Amazing. single day somebody's in your comments like, when your album coming? When you, when oh you dropping? When you got to sing? When you get some new the music? Pressure. Yeah, and they don't understand. One, it's a lot of politics sometimes. Two, yeah. when you haven't been out for such a long time, you want to make sure the song is right because you've built up this wonderful fan base and you You're don't an want to disappoint. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so... It's a lot of time, and before there wasn't so social media, and people would take their times to, you know, to make albums, and everything wasn't so microwaved. And now you gotta have your stuff, like you gotta put a new single out every three weeks in it's order crazy. to keep up. And you gotta get we we're getting we're adjusting to the new system. Yeah, you know, um, totally. But it, it can sometimes be difficult because it's or like drop it on iTunes like Beyonce. <laughs> Oh, that yes, was you. Crazy. You know, I think for a minute there, she was like, you know what? Forget it. I can't really think of. I don't know what's the, what's the best single, so I'm gonna drop all of this and do it my way. Which I applauded right. her for doing that. You know, like take it. It's do it's it. a little bit more. You know. Did you call her mm, up for that one? I did actually. <laughs> like what? I was like, first of all, you did that. <laughs> You did that, honey. She took a chance. She shut down the internet and everything else, oh and and that's what you got to do, especially. But that's kind of like taking the power out of those like record rep hands. You're like, yo, I could. She do had this. the power. Right. All right. the power was hers. Yeah. Period. Right. And that's, that's I it. applaud her for that. So like, Ti is on the single that you have out. Yes. Don't make me wait. You Don't can find it on wait. iTunes right now. Don't make me wait. Did you um, call Ti for that? I had to. Okay. Yeah. I was like, hey, listen. So you and him must have been cool. Yes. I was like, can, can you help me with, can you? <laughs> I need you on can this you one, okay? 
please. I like it. He laced it too. It's I, good. you know what, I love him. He's yeah. such, he's such a great artist. Um, not he's only so an artist, still, he is, like, just so and he's like, funny, chill. and he just has fun with everything that he does, and he's so like witty and smart and yeah. clever and he brings all that to his music yeah. so i can appreciate him as an artist for sure i love it yeah do you work out um this week no um this week no <laughs> keep it real i'm like girl the water white that is sitting in my but face right now that's why i'm like covered up like wait my oh, cheeks whose isn't face that weird is that this you feel like that from yes now working out, just one week you're like oh. I'm like if I I haven't done cardio, so I feel like my face. Which is what do like, you do? What are there any? I got to do sprints. Moves you could show us. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> no, I just started hot yoga. Okay. So I got my street my tree stance together. Okay, let's, let's see. see. Uh, let's you see. gotta like really focus here, and then you just kind of bring your foot here. Oh wow! All the way up there. Yeah, Jeez. but you gotta make sure you turn your hips right, and then you. Do this, and you can focus in. Oh, or well. you have to, or you can do it the other way, which is harder. Which you bring your foot all Gangsta. the way. You kind of like gotta sit in it. Well, you have to sit first. Oh, okay. So you bring your legs down. I hope I'm doing this right. My friend Leslie would kill me. So you <laughs> squat into it, kind of like sit okay. back, and then bring your leg around and lock it. Lock your toes. Oh my God! You could fit your leg all the way around. Yep. Jeez. And then you can. Like that. Oh my god, and how long do you stay like that? Until the instructor says <laughs> stop. And down. And down. Yeah, but you gotta like hold it. It's like a whole thing. That one is hard. And then there's so one you where you like, like yoga best. Yo, I just got into it. And then there's one where you grab the inside. I'm doing this so wrong. But you grab and you lean out. Oh, Don't lean with your chest. You lean, you extend with your leg. Kinda. I can't do it. Ooh. Which oh, that works the leg. Yeah. Big time. Everything. I could feel it. I'm yeah. like really doing it with her. Look, look, we it's, it's well not easy. It happen. <laughs> it's not easy, Ooh, but I've been starting hot that yoga a little bit, though. Honey, hot yoga it looks, scares me, though. I don't but know. No, the is it one too hot. Like I feel like I can't breathe just think hearing about it. I'm an asthmatic, so okay. if anybody can't breathe in heat, it's me. <laughs> um, okay, okay, me but too. But the room isn't super duper hot. Okay. It's the movements and the holding the position that makes you hot. Yes, and you're okay. literally. Drenched like you came out of a swimming pool. Ooh. I could lose so much weight in there. Oh my God. So between that, sprinting, that's what I do. Nice. You look good. But I eat everything. Do that's you? That's the problem. I'm I just eat gonna everything. Ask you. I can't. I'm from Texas. We eat yeah. everything. Barbecue, sweets. Because they say it's really what you eat, though. You know. More it's than half you're battle. working out. So you don't. Hence so why you eat I don't everything. Everything. There's nothing that you're not watching anything. Carbs, even. Fried I had chicken, a bread basket Really? Yeah. I have risotto. It doesn't bother you? No, because you've been. Yeah, I just, I just realized that on this red carpet tomorrow <laughs> at the BET Awards, I'm gonna be. Chubby. Oh. And are you presenting at the BET Awards? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Anything? Performance? Nothing. No, I'm, I'm there to watch. Okay, cool. I'm excited about watching. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. good though, because it takes the pressure off. Yeah. You. We, uh, the show's about heart health and pocketbook topics. So mm -hmm. I just want to ask you real quick. Okay. Uh -huh. What is your heart, health, and pocketbook status right now? How would you rate that? Is it on point? Your pocketbook, everything, your finances. Everything is actually balanced out, and okay. that's hard. Pump so leak. it could ever be. My pockets could always be more. Yeah, <laughs> they could. Uh, they could do you be. You have like a financial advisor. I do. Oh, good. And I still disobey. Mm. I have a shopping problem. Um, yeah, but yeah, problem. I'm trying to get better at all of that. <laughs> What's your favorite um, product to buy? You say you have a shopping problem. Oh, I do. Anything. <laughs> and, and it really does not matter. It's clothes. It's shoes. I like to decorate. So I can be in home goods all the time. Ah. I can be furniture shopping. Do you live on your all own? The time. I do. I do. You don't have any children, right? No, no. no okay. I'm all up in the biz. I'm like, yeah, do you live on your own? No, What's up? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I didn't think so. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's, he's not ready yet. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, I do want you. I do want children. But you want to be married first. Though. Absolutely. That's why yeah, I, there's no that's kids. That's what I say. Yeah, I have to. It got to be an old. Right. So what's the cutoff limit to being with somebody before they, before you say, look, that's it. Like we've been together for so long, and you still haven't asked me to get married. Oh, that's a great question. Um, I think it depends on the person. For me, I mean. After a few years, if you don't know, really? like I feel like they know. So like immediately, three, three might be too. Like three, three you get. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm. 
I'm, it just like, depends. It I guess. depends. Like some of our parents, they knew each other for a month, and right. they've been together like sixty five years. <laughs> but like, mm, I don't think it takes. I don't think it takes five six years to get to know a person. Yes. So we have a fun tri uh, trivia question of the day, mm -hmm. and you can take a guess at it. Okay. Eighty four percent of women mm -hmm. do this to lose weight. What do you think it is? 84%. Oh, man. That's, <laughs> that's a big percent. Um, To lose weight? Yeah. The first thing you think is carbs a lot of times. Yeah. Like, I'm going to just, you know. But now it's so many things. I know. It's so, so many, many it's things. It's like a trick without eating or. Yeah. Is it don't eat or is it I'm going to do the liquid diet or is it mm. like. Nowadays, I juice. So. I know. But guess what? It's none of those. It's actually buying smaller clothing. To lose weight? Yeah. No. Because you know, I know. Who does that? You're not going like, to fit. That's uncomfortable. 84% of women do that, though. Or you just look at it and go, but I, I think that they that? think that if they wear, like, tight jeans all day, it, like, snugs the skin in. No. But no. No. You Isn't just it? look crazy. <laughs> oh, thanks Pretty for much. coming in. Thank you. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Latoya Luckett, and I am hanging out with my girl, Cheka C. Yo, Cheka. Ah, Boom.